going on everyone it's your guy cole jackson back here on road graders brought to you today by bet us and we are going to be talking about the baltimore ravens run game which showed some signs of life yesterday in the second half we're going to be taking a look at why my guy daniel reese at dp reese 8 on twitter has the stats for you first half 10 runs for a negative 0.63 epa per rush averaging 1.1 yards per carry Second half, 14 runs for a 0.31 EPA per rush, averaging 6.6 yards per carry. So we're going to take a look at why and some of the reasons that I think that happened. Um, if you guys are looking forward to this breakdown, if you're excited about King Henry moving forward, hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And as always, I want to hear from you guys. Drop a comment down below. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsors. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video. As you can see, the week three odds are already up. You got BetUS bringing you the best odds with the quickest service. You go check out that week three matchup for your Baltimore Ravens. You can see you can grab the pick em and the over. You throw that in a nice little parlay, throw 100 bucks down on that, and it's going to net you 252. When that hits, you got two teams that are going to be angry coming off losses. I think this goes to a high scoring affair. Go ahead, lock that in. Check out all of the lines that are already up there. Use code YouTube150 for a 150% deposit match on your first three deposits up to a total of $2,000. That's money straight in your pocket that you can put on bigger bets. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring. So we're going to get started here with some of the runs that didn't go well, mostly from the first half. Actually, in fact, all of these runs are from the first half where... It was poor runs. Now, obviously, a big feature as we go through this video is going to be this man over here, number 98, Max Crosby. But what you're going to see is a lot of runs like this where we're going to run our power to the left here, and we're going to have those down blocks. And we looked at this last week. So we're going to struggle to get guys off the ball. We're going to struggle to maintain le le maintain leverage, and that's going to create these issues. So again, for those wondering, you know, what the point of the – or not the point, what the, what the goal is on this play. So we're pulling – the right guard to his left we got to hit these down blocks to clear it out we're using a kick out block here and then the gap is supposed to go right off the tackle or the tight end's ass as they hit their down blocks so as you're going to see those down blocks are going to hit there's your kick out block daniel falele your right guard is going to pull through that gap lead block and what happens here is kind of twofold so ricard on the kick out block Max Crosby is just going to make a move, which is going to create a little bit of a limited time and space here. So you focus on that. Henry's got to run a little bit tighter up to the line of scrimmage rather than having a bit more of a clear lane there to get behind. And by doing that, it forces him closer to this down block. So really the fundamental issue on this play. So you're going to get a tray block from Ronnie Stanley and Charlie Kolar. Kohler has got to, you know, take that outside shoulder and just drive it in and just not able to get that push, right? And then he's going to lose his leverage. He's going to get pushed down. You can see that hand coming down and the defensive tackle is just going to step inside into Derrick Henry. So kind of twofold there because um, Patrick Ricard missing that kickout block um, forced him to have to get a little bit tighter to the line of scrimmage. And then Kolar loses his block on the tray block. And so Daniel Falele, actually not a bad pull um you know he got through the gap he hit his man good leverage um so just unfortunate there kind of a few things happening and that that one came out of 22 personnel from under center and that's going to be a theme throughout this video you're going to eventually see once we get to a place where they're running more from 12 personnel uh, pistol which is basically what this is it, it counts as 21 personnel because ricard counts as a running back but i would still call this 12 because he's playing a tight end role here um so what's going to happen on this though is we're going to get that counter play that i complained about last year last week and what's going to happen is again 98 max crosby is just going to blow this up and so my fundamental problem with this type of play and i complained about it last week against the chiefs we're not getting enough push off the line of scrimmage just like we saw in that last play so even if you ignore the fact that Max Crosby just completely dominated the the backfield. You need to get down blocks from your right side of your O-line. So you need to be blowing these guys off the ball. Then you got two pullers. Voorhees is supposed to kick out the unblocked end. He's supposed to be unblocked, but Voorhees is supposed to get there, kick him out. And then Ricard, who's the second puller, is your lead blocker. So you need those down blocks to hit, and you need, um, you need your puller to hit. So your puller is going to turn. 
and Voorhees is just doesn't open wide enough, doesn't get there. Crosby just hunts. Um, he's playing this essentially as an option and just smashes Derrick Henry. So just again, there's too much happening in the in the backfield. I think that delays hurting. I think we're also, you know, not getting enough push. And, you know, even if even if Max Crosby didn't hit this, there were still guys stacked up in the box. So I hate that counterplay. Rip it up, throw it out of the playbook. Can't stand it. Now we're gonna get eleven personnel and Derrick Henry's gonna motion here. And we're going to try and hit a, that pin and sweep that we tried to run last week. And it's kind of the same concept, right? Because we need to hit these down blocks. So Andrews has to come down. And you're going to get pins here from both Mark Andrews and Patrick McCary. They have to kick their guys down. And that will allow for the pullers to get it going. So Falele is your first puller. And we want to push this, obviously, outside as quickly as we can. So we're going to try and you know pin there, get Falele around. Falele doesn't get deep enough and Andrews doesn't get enough push probably because we're trying to do this on Max Crosby which is just a tough assignment he's working upfield too quick so Henry's running into his pullers and I, this is one of my issues kind of over and over again just I find I found at the start of the game uh, last week it was like we couldn't blow guys off the line of scrimmage so then we end up with these pullers in the backfield we're not moving anybody consistent problem now we get into 12 personnel from under center and that motion so right there zay flowers is going to motion across so watch him motion and then watch max crosby as i play this through so he's going to be lined up outside the tight end so he's basically a seven tech right here outside the tight end zay's gonna see him motion and then he cuts inside so everything looked a little bit better here i like this i like the 12 personnel um i even like the motion but that's just max crosby getting in there making a play now we're into 21 under center again Max Crosby is going to do the same thing. And actually what happens here is he's going to motion before the play again. So you see him step inside. Stanley's going to step into him because he sees him come in. So he's going to waste a step there. Makes him a little bit later getting to the second level. And then you end up with two guys on Max Crosby. So there's a double team here, but Ronnie Stanley also hit him. So you basically had three guys paying attention to Max Crosby on the same play. And that allows everybody around Max Crosby to have just a little bit of an easier day. Now we're going to get into 12 personnel pistol. We're going to run this outside zone. And by God, we're going to have some success. Um, this was that big play, hell of a stiff arm. So, I mean, this is, in terms of play design, it's about as simple as it can be. It's outside zone. Everybody's taking that scoop step to their left. We're going to run this right off Ronnie's ass. Patrick McCary is going to be out there. We got It's 12 personnel and, again, would count as 21, but Ricard's a tight end here. We got... I believe that's mark in there as the second tight end and just everyone makes a block guys are moving off you're going to get a cut inside here from zay flowers who's going to come in and make a little bit of contact there ricard's going to get out and kick out do what ricard does so well stanley's going to do that get into the second level just everybody does it and you get derrick henry in space and he's able to just literally throw guys um so just you know beautiful work there now we're going to run, we're going to motion to the left side here, and we're going to run that pin and pull. You'll notice Max Crosby, I didn't look at his alignment stats, lines up a lot over the right tackle. He's not exclusively on the right side like a TJ Watt is, but he does seem to be over the right side quite a bit. And so what they're going to do is, again, we're in that that pistol 12, uh, 12 personnel. I think this is where they're having their most success, coming out of pistol as well. And we're going to run that pin and pull outside. Aguilar is going to come down and cut inside. Stanley's going to make a big block outside. Derrick Henry gets a lot more space. Um, so, you know, moving the ball outside, we're not wasting time in the backfield with pullers. We're not, well, I mean, I guess technically we have pullers. Um, but, you know, we're hitting, I think the biggest difference here is just not running it to Max Crosby. Nice adjustment there. And, you know, getting the right pullers out. We're getting athletic guys like Stanley and Linderbaum out there. Mark's making a big block out there. Watch Mark, watch Mark Andrews on this block. So he's going to make a big boy block here because we gotta, we got to man up, right, when we get out into the second level. And he's going to just absolutely wedge that guy inside to create some space. So just beautiful work here. The Ravens are going to keep doing what they're, what they're doing well. See, there's Max over the left side. So he's not only playing the right side, but they're going to do the exact same thing. And look at the alignment here from the O-line. So you got Linderbaum, you got Falele, and then you got Mark Andrews as your technically right tackle then you have Rick, or McCary as your left tackle 
likely as a tight end and Ronnie all the way outside. And, you know, the Raiders try and adjust because they're coming out and seeing this wacky setup, right? So I didn't catch the full play, but when they lined up, they rushed to the line to run this play. Max rushes over. So that's going to give you, the reason I like this adjustment is because Ronnie's going to be pinning. And that's where they've been struggling is hitting those pin blocks. But now you got an offensive line doing it. Um, and look at Zay Flowers out there blocking Max Crosby. Um, and does a hell of a job. Look at the little guy. <laughs> I'm going to have to throw this in my Zay video. So he's right here off the screen. He's going to come down and he's actually going to hit a pin block on Max Crosby. And really the only issue with this play, this might have been six because the only guy that misses is Isaiah Likely on the kickout. So he's got to kick out Diablo and then McCary's pulling through. Zay hits his block. So, I mean, there's enough space there. Linderbaum's coming around late. Maybe they don't get it with that with that other linebacker coming in. Um, but, you know, really it likely just forces that cut, right? Because that's probably going more outside and then bringing it back inside. So there would have been a lot more space. Um, then I threw this in. This is just an up-the-gut wildcat run. It's just a thing of beauty. That's just Derrick Henry football. Um, nothing special schematically here. He just, gonna catches, he just catches it out of wildcat, and they just grind down. And that's just Derrick literally getting behind Tyler Linderbaum, letting his guys do the rest of the work. Um, we're back in 12 personnel pistol. <laughs> Theme of the video, 12 personnel pistol. Ricard's in there. Again, technically 21. I'm calling it 12 because that's what it looks like. We're going to run a nice little outside zone play here. Goes for five yards. Again, it's going to the right side. I think everybody did their job. Um, you're, you know, Daniel Falele doesn't move anyone off the ball. So look where the snap starts. His feet are basically aligned with this yard line. So keep that as your point of reference. And he's basically finishing this play behind the line of scrimmage, which I just think happens way too often with him. What's going on here? Video doesn't want to play. So you're going to see right here, Falele is going to do that, and he's just not moving upfield. And Derrick Henry is going to be able to make someone miss. To make this play perfect, Voorhees has to reach Diablo here um, in, in the second level. It's a tough block, but again, not enough athleticism from our guards to really spring this run. Um, but still, it goes for five, getting it done. That's good enough for me. And then you're going to get another pin and pull here from under center with 22 personnel. And again, we're running it outside. Isaiah likely is going to take Max Crosby out of this play and they're going to get a nice little gain. So, I mean, I think it's really clear. I think the key to this offense, having some success in the run game is, you know, whether it be 11 personnel, 12 personnel, I think the key is really to get it out of lighter personnel. Um, so whether that's one tight end, two tight ends, doesn't really matter to me, but I like the pistol alignment because it's going to get Derrick Henry moving. So you can do it at a shotgun too. That's fine. But I just find pistol creates that more forward momentum under center. If you're running zone, probably fine too. They don't seem to do it as outside zone, but I, I think the key here is they finally found something that was working and they stuck to it in the second half. Um, so that's good to see. Obviously better execution is also part of this, but I really want to see those lighter formation packages. 12 personnel is going to be a little bit dominant for this group. Play it under pistol, push the ball outside, get Derrick Henry moving. If guys can start executing like they did in that second half, it's going to create those cutbacks, what Derrick Henry used to feast on. So I think there's a lot of upside here for this team as a rushing team. It seemed like they just needed to simplify things, get away from the pullers, get away from you know requiring down blocks because that power football just isn't working with this offensive line. They have some athletes on this line. Get them out in space. Get Derrick Henry out in space. That's all I have for you guys. Hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Thank you to BetUS for powering this video. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.